Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. Hey everybody, it's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. And today we are learning about a brand new coral. It is the Hammer Coral. A lot of people have been asking about this one. It is a great LPS coral to get into. They grow pretty quick and they come in a bunch of colors and they also look really pretty, especially under some current blowing them around. Prices on them kind of varies depending on what colors you get. A lot of times we have a ton of purples in the shop, purple head hammers. And so we can sell them relatively cheap. We normally sell them about $12 a head. And if you want to get some crazy colors, like they come in golds. I mean, you can get like two gold heads and it'll cost you $100 easy. So you definitely want to see what colors you can get and afford because getting some crazy colors can definitely cost some money. Care level, it is moderate. It ain't too bad to take care of them though. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78. Definitely on the more warm side for them. EKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 8.4, and your salinity 1.023 to 1.025. Colors, I mean, there are so many. They got the green tips that are really cool. Purple tips are some of the basic ones you normally see. Gold tips are what a lot of people try to find and get. There's metallic greens, there's pinks. I mean, the list is endless. A lot of them that you can get, though, can definitely cost you some more money if you want to get some cool stuff. Diet, so a lot of times what I like to feed mine to keep them growing a lot is reef roids. You can normally just mix that up in your own water and then just squirt a little bit above them and they'll soak it in. Pellets are another really good thing. They actually can eat the pellets. You just drop them on top of them and they'll grab them and eat them up pretty quick. Oyster feast is another really good one to use. It has a lot of ingredients in it for them to eat and keep on splitting. Origin. Normally Australia, Indonesia is where they come from, but a lot of places are now aquaculturing them, so you might even not even get one that's from the ocean. Venomous, so they will sting other corals near it, but not other hammers and frog spawns. They can be right next to each other and nothing bothers them. Uh, torches are another one that it can be near, but I've also seen torches sting my hammers, so I don't know what the deal was. I've seen it go both ways. But either way, I would definitely not put hammers by any corals that you do not want to get stung because they will sting the fire out of it like an anemone. You also don't want them to sting you. So uh, normally the only places they can really get in you is on like your forearm where your pores on your skin are a little bit more open to get that venom in there and shoot you. So you definitely want to pay attention whenever you're going deep down in your tank. Placement, you can really place these guys anywhere in my tank. They're actually at the very top and they look awesome. Lime green with the purple heads. Uh, we have some in tanks that are at the very bottom in the sand bed and they're just flowing down there. And then even in the middle, you know, it really doesn't matter. Current, you definitely want to give them some current because they like to flow around. It'll help them stretch their arms out. Now, if you give them too much current, they will definitely shrink in. So you definitely want to move them to somewhere that gives them a little less current so they can spread out. Tank size doesn't really matter. You can have any size tank. Just make sure they have pretty, plenty of nutrients to get. They do grow by the head. So normally a new one will start getting really big. And then you'll start noticing new branches pop off. You start seeing all these little branches start popping up. And it looks like you just have this one gigantic head of hammer. It's awesome. And they're real easy to frag. A lot of times you can see how the branches are splitting really good. And you cut right in the middle of the hard part. And they'll come right apart. But you want to make sure you can see on the hard part, it's like hard, and then you can start seeing the skin running down. You do not want to cut that skin right there. That can really hurt them. You want to make sure you just cut the wood because that's not even connected to something they can feel. Lighting, just ask down in the comments. They need some pretty good lighting, but nothing crazy. Keep your calcium and alkalinity up. That'll help them to keep splitting and getting branching out bigger. So... Don't make it too hot, but calcium, we normally keep it at about 420 and our alkalinity 8 to 12. So keep it around in there and you'll have plenty of growth from them. Some things to watch out for to notice that they are not doing well. Heads can just completely detach. They will just fall off the branch. That means they are going through a very large amount of stress, which can be caused by fish picking at them. Or your water condition, your water, uh, what am I trying to say? your levels are really bad. So if your salinity gets way too high, if your ammonia spikes, just something like that, 
If you see the head start popping off, you need to know something's going wrong. And also moving them too much can also damage them. So you don't want to keep moving them around and around and around trying to get them to come out. Just give them some time in the spot that he's in. And then if he doesn't want to come out, then move him a couple days later. Definitely don't want to stress him out. But other than that, that is your hammer coral. Hope this helped y'all out. Please leave some comments down below if y'all need anything else you want to learn about them. I think I hit on all the main points. They're pretty easy to take care of. You definitely want to make sure they have plenty of to eat. And you want to put them in a spot that they aren't going to sting your other corals because they will light them up. Other than that, I hope you all have a good day. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. And I will see you all later.